Thank you for choosing Chamberlain. In this video, we'll briefly show you the highlights of how to install your belt drive garage door opener. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Your product and installation may be different. Before installing your garage door opener, be sure to read the instructions provided with your product. Pay special attention to all safety information. You'll begin by assembling your garage door opener, and then you'll install it. You should plan to set aside a couple of hours, but you may need more time. Before you assemble your garage door opener, it's a good idea to lay out the parts. They include the motor unit, the rail and trolley assembly with belt, the header and door mounting brackets, and the other parts including hardware. Assemble the rail and insert the U-bracket. Install the trolley. Attach the rail to the motor unit. Install the idler pulley and belt, hooking the belt onto the trolley. Wrap the belt around the sprocket on the motor unit and connect to the trolley using the spring trolley nut on the threaded shaft. Complete the assembly by installing the sprocket cover. Your garage door opener is ready to install. Locate the structural support on the header wall and install the header bracket centered over the garage door. Do not install the header bracket over drywall. Connect the rail to the header bracket. You'll need to supply your own support bracket. Locate the structural supports in the ceiling and fasten the support bracket directly to the structural supports. Connect the motor unit to the support bracket using the hanging brackets. Install the light bulbs and the emergency release rope. Lightweight garage doors require horizontal and vertical reinforcement. Install the door bracket by securing it to the vertical reinforcement. Install the door arm. Your installation is not complete until the protector system has been installed. The protector system consists of safety reversing sensors which are mounted on each side of the garage door at floor level. Install the safety reversing sensors and the door control and wire them to the garage door opener. It's time to plug in your garage door opener. Complete your installation by aligning the safety reversing sensors. You'll also need to program the travel limits, test the protector system, and perform the safety reversing test. You must test the safety reversal system of your garage door opener every month. You must also test after any adjustments are made. The door must reverse on contact with a one and a half inch high object laid flat on the floor. To test the safety reversal system, open the garage door. With the door fully open, place a one and one half inch board or a two by four laid flat on the floor, centered under the garage door. Press the remote control or wall-mounted door control to close the door. The door should stop and reverse upon contact with the 2x4. The door returns to the fully open position. The opener beeps and lights flash slowly five times. If the door reverses, remove the board. The test is complete. If the door stops and does not reverse, check that your garage door opener is installed properly. Refer to the manual for detailed instructions. Thank you for choosing Chamberlain. For more information, visit support.chamberlaingroup.com.